how to make a video with anime style clips based on your own images. I've just recorded a video of myself talking about my trip to Japan and I want to add some anime style animations based on my own pictures to help me tell the story. So to get started I'm going to upload my raw footage to vid.io and using the magic tools menu I'm going to select magic cut. Now this tool is automatically going to remove any silences, any filler words and any bad takes and give me a rough cut in just two clicks. Now as I already mentioned I have some pictures from my Japan trip that I want to turn into anime video clips using AI. To do that, I'm going to head over to ChatGPT 4.0, upload my first photo, and just add the prompt, make this anime. And in just a few seconds, it's going to generate a cartoon image for you. Now, I want to post my final video on social media, so I'm also going to ask the AI to change the shape of the image. You can also generate images from scratch, so you don't need to upload a pre-existing photo. All you need to do is describe what you want to see. So say I wanted an anime picture of Mount Fuji surrounded by clouds. All I have to do is enter that into the AI, and as you can see, it does a pretty good job. So I'm going to go ahead now and generate all of the images I need for my video, but now now we need to make them move and to do that I'm going to use a different AI tool called Kling. Once I've logged in I'm going to hit video on the left hand side, upload my image and add a prompt describing exactly what I want to see in the final video. So for this one right here you can see it's a picture of me on my bike and I'm just going to tell the AI to make the camera follow along with me cycling continuously. Now, if you use the free version of Kling, it does take a bit of time to generate each video. But as you can see, when it's done, it's well worth the wait. And it's done a really good job of turning this into an animation. So I'm going to go ahead and generate all of the animations that I need and then drag them back into the Veed editor. Once they're sitting in the timeline, I can make sure they fit within the frame by dragging the top and the bottom like so. And I can just place them wherever I want in the timeline. And I can adjust the timings by clicking and dragging the front and the back like this. I'm also going to add some slight camera movement to a few of these clips just so they don't look so stationary and I can do that by selecting the animations option and I think a simple Ken Burns effect looks pretty nice. I'm also going to use the stock music library to add some background music to my video and there's lots of different Japan themed options in there and because I'm uploading the final video to socials I'm also going to use the automatic subtitles option which listens to all of the audio in the video automatically transcribes it and throws some text over the top and I can choose from all of these different styles that look pretty cool and I'm just going to make sure that I drag my text a little higher up in the frame so it's viewable on social media. So there we have it. It's as simple as that and I now have a final video that looks like this. This is why visiting Mount Fuji in Japan is not as simple as it sounds, especially if you want that postcard view. Back in 2018, I rented a bike from Karagachiko town and took a cycle around the lakes, hoping to get that amazing view of Mount Fuji. 